What's up guys, Corvus here and welcome to episode 341 of my Pokemon Showdown Random Ball series. On the previous episode we had 5 ball episode, we managed to snag 5 wins and that took our total to 703 wins, 313 defeats, a 390 game differential. Hoping to hit 400 game differential in the next 5 to 10 episodes I hope. So hopefully we'll get 3 wins today to go towards that goal, but let's get underway with ball number 1. Okay guys, number ball number one, and we are going to lead with Tangrowth, which, this is a terrible lead. Why have we got a terrible lead? Like, it's just an abysmal lead. It cannot do anything. Great, you're gonna beat Blast Macargo. It does very little. Good for you. Let's go for a Shell Smash, because he's fearing the Rock-type move. Unless for some reason Two Cannon has like waterfall and just blows me back. If you can tell, if you couldn't tell, I'm in quite a bad mood. Did some practice games. They didn't go well at all. I got destroyed in every single match. I did four practice games. He's got Brick Break. Why have you got Brick Break? Yeah, I had four practice games. Three of them, the oppo opponent's team was like ridiculous compared to my team. And then the fourth game, I just let my opponent set up in a bad position for me, basically. I don't know what I meant to outspeed. I meant cargo. I can't really outspeed Pokemon. That's not what I do. He's gonna go Psycho Boost. He misses, and he's dead. Okay, very nice. Took out two Pokemon with Macargo, which is incredible. I knew he was going Psycho Boost because he didn't want to risk the Flame Body again. Okay, Dialga, I can't really touch you. Fire Blast's the best I can do. That's not going to do too much. He misses his own Fire Blast. And we do 70% to my opponent. Very good. Uh, let's go for an all fire blast. His is going to take me out with a critical hit. Critical hit may have my eyes. It was four times resisted. And I think we go for the... Why can't you have Earthquake Scolipede? I'm also finding that since 7th gen came around, the moves that Pokemon have have gotten a lot worse. Like, the movesets are really random sometimes. Like, I keep getting Pokemon that have movesets. It's like, why would I ever use that moveset? Do I want to U-turn and risk the Mach Punch? Yes. I should have known. He got another critical hit! He's killed both my Pokemon with critical hits. Both of them. I'm gonna go Sylveon and just type a voice. Obviously. It'll do a lot to the Dialga on the Switch here as well. Please don't have Spore. Do we protect? I was about to protect! What are you doing, game? What are you doing? I was obviously on this screen, waiting to click protect, and then the game just... No. You, you The game's literally cheated me out of a kill. I clicked. I was about to click protect. You can't just do that. Come on. I have such terrible luck on this game. Today. It's like I'm allowed to change my mind. It was like a good 10 second span where I wasn't, I hadn't chosen a move. I clicked Hyper Voice, clicked off it, then like 10 seconds went by, and then it just did the move anyway. What is going on? Why have I got such bad luck? Rock Tomb, I'm dead, great. Now I've lost Scolipede because I'm on tilt. Just poison jab it. I hate showdown sometimes. It just messes with you.
Rock slide. Does he have speed? No, I have speed. Good. Rock slide. How much do Ben misses? Because that's just my luck. Actually, it'd be very good of my opponent to switch out here. He didn't. Axelgor is going to live, however, which is bad for me. He's going to flinch, though. Isn't the end of the world. However, we have to go Sylveon because everything else on our team gets absolutely destroyed by an Axel goal. Like, it has Giga Drain, I knew that, which destroys Vaporeon. We wake up. Thank you, Sylveon. Thank you. You wouldn't have been asleep in the first place if the game had Liz Quick Protect. Because I would have went out into Tango. Which you could say I probably should have done in the first place. Sylveon, can you live a uh, flash cannon? I don't think you can. Fire Blast you can live, however. And you're going to take out the Dialga. So we have three Pokemon, including a Tangrowth, to take my, out my opponent's last Pokemon. Can we get a win? Even after Showdown tried to screw me up. Let's go Hyper Voice. He is going to get a Seed Flare off here, which will probably... He goes for Air Slash. He, what, he is Serene Grace. Oh no, he's Natural Cure. It's the Shaman Skyfall that's Serene Grace. I don't really understand why he's going Air Slash then. Because he doesn't have a very good chance of flinch. Well, I, I think it still has a 30% chance of flinch. It's just doubled to 60% with Serene Grace, which is why it's so overpowered. He doesn't kill, and uh, we are going to take out the Shaman, and we're going to pick up a win there somehow. I got really angry there. That may be the angriest I've been in this entire series, and it's episode 341. Ah, <sighs> finally. Finally. We... Today's been a disaster, guys, basically. Since I started the practice games to now, that's the first win in five balls. Oh. <sighs> Please just give me an, a good match, a fair match with equal-ish teams. I mean, I would say the teams weren't really equal there. He had two legendaries. I didn't have a single legendary. No, he had three legendaries. Apologies. We still pulled out the win, but we are going to go on to ball number two, guys, and hope for the best. Okay, guys, on to ball number two. We lead with the Mega Pinsir versus the Wormadam. That's a great matchup. Let's go for a sword stance. Toxic was the worst thing he could have done to me there. But it wasn't that bad. I'm okay with it. We have 201 speed, which is pretty good. We're easily going to one-shot the Wormadam. I wouldn't... Oh, he has Sash. I was going to say he may have had Sash. Which may have meant that I wasn't going to kill... Oh, he's going to go for Protect. If he's going protect, I should sword stance. Didn't protect. That's very irritating. I thought he was going to protect there. Does he not have protect? Or did he just pro play me there? No, he doesn't have protect. Okay. So I overplayed. If he has a uh, priority mon, then he's going to take out Pinsir here. So I have to decide, do I want to save Pinsir? I probably do. Oh, Mammal Swine, really? Any priority mon but Mammal Swine. And I would be in a really pretty good position. Mammal Swine just bodies my entire team, though. Do I overpredict? Predict him not to go Ice Shard. Mega Pinsir goes down. And what do I do to a Mammal Swine? I know he can get Knock Off, but this is the best thing I can think to do. And me losing a Mega Pinsir is a lot worse than him losing a Wormadam plant. 
I was predicting him to over predict and not go for ice shard, thinking I was going to switch out. But no, I didn't switch out because it was a, I was being stupid. Lurantis, can we get a burn please? Yes, we get a burn, very nice. That's actually huge. Because we can pretty safely now go Skarmory. He may have Hidden Power Fire, but he's a physical attacker, so I don't think he would have it. Gonna go Leaf Storm. Oh, he's a special attacker. He's contrary. Ah, yes, I forgot it got contrary. Well, we have to go for Brave Bird instead of Stealth Rock. Actually, do you get outsped by me? You do. We can go Stealth Rock pretty safely. There's the Leaf Storm. It's a crit, of course. Of course. Why? That's all I want to ask. Why is it a critical hit? Why did you have to get a critical hit there? Well, why? I mean, that was better than him getting a critical hit to take out one of my other Pokemon. Skarmory could take the crit. It's just my luck has been terrible today. I outspeed. Why would you do that? Um, if you outspeed your choice scarf, you're basically revealing that you're choice scarfed, which you're not. So if you're life orb, you would have taken yourself out there. You're special. And that's interesting to me. Jemison outspeeds you, does it not? You're 141, max. Jemison's 134, max. Why isn't... What? They didn't used to have maximum speed? So why do they now have maximum speed? That screwed me over. I wouldn't have gone out into Jellicent. I obviously wouldn't have gone out into Jellicent if I knew he outspent me. Why? Horned. Why are there no maximum speed? There used to be like no speed investment or some speed investment because they used to have like in the middle of the speed, yeah. So now we we'll just assume every single Pokemon has max speed is basically what you have to do. Right, Hoopa can safely switch in because he's got to go for Seismic Toss, which does do 30%, so... Let's go for a knockoff. The Chansey does not want to be alive anymore, realistically. Taunt is going to end, but we do outspeed so we can go for a hyperspace fury. Does low our defense, which I don't like much because that means the normal swing can switch in and could have went for the let's go for a sidekick. He may have bullet punch, but I don't think it'll kill. Psychic's just going to destroy my champ. But I think the Mammoth Way may be able to pull this game back. Because uh, Magnazone's not going to want to do anything. Jellicent is probably dead to an Earthquake. Let's go Hyperspace Fury. So 2 hit KO, but he's going to take me out with a knockoff. Or you can just take me out with a knockoff on Jellicent. I mean, you can take me out. There's no reason not to go Jellicent at this point. Because he takes me out either now or at the end. Now we've got Mamoswine, we have the Air Balloon. I mean, Magnazone, sorry, we have the Air Balloon. Let's go for the Flash Cannon. This should actually take him out. Magnazone pulls through, gets us the win in ball number two. Let's get on to the third and final ball and hope for some more, well, some actual good luck rather than some bad luck. So let's go on to battle number three. Okay guys, on to the final battle, and we unfortunately don't have an Alolan Golem, but we do have a regular Golem, and we can go for the EQ here. It's pretty safe. I very much doubt he's going to stay in. We may go for a Calm Mind. I don't know why he would, 
They may do that, predicting me to... Okay, so Raku's not dead. Lives on one. Why does it live on one? What is my luck? And I'm not even low enough that Custard Berry's gonna activate. Are you kidding me? He lives on one. That's a complete joke. What, did he specially EV train as Raikou so that I could live a golem earthquake? What is that moveset? Let's go Mega Beedrill. It outspeeds. And go off Poison Jab. We outspeed because Mega Evolutions get their speed now before Mega Evolution. So we take out the Raikou. Which is very nice. Mega Beedrill is actually one of the Pokemon that benefits a lot from the speed before Mega Evolution because it no longer needs to run Protect first turn. Because the reason it ever ran Protect was to get the speed boost. So he's going to go Explode, which kind of sucks because that means I would die in one hit. Let's go for a Poison Jab though, since X has no additional effect. So 2 hit KO. Ice Beam's not going to kill. He was predicting a switch. He definitely was predicting a switch. He should have either went Fire Blast, which would definitely kill, or Boom Burst, which would definitely kill. Not Ice Beam. If he used Specs, especially. Although I suppose that may have been why he didn't go for why he went for Ice Beam rather than Boom Burst, which I could have switched down to a Ghost type to... Actually, it's Scrappy. So no, that's not an argument. I'm surprised an Adaptability Dragon Pulse doesn't kill me. That's shocking. Adaptability Dragalge Dragon Pulse doesn't kill a Mega Beedrill. It has like base 45 special defense. Something like that. It may have had special defense, actually. You outspeed me by at one point, don't you? Bug fighting. Resisted. Resisted. Yes, Poison Jab obviously takes me out for a more, so you get a speed boost. That's annoying. You can easily take out Ambipom. Toxapex may be able to do something. Not much, though. Basically, I have to go Scald. Go Baneful Bunker. I haven't seen the animation that Showdowns gave Baneful Bunker. He's probably switching. Straight out. Gonna Baneful Bunker. He's gonna Ice Beam, which was a good play. We are going to go for a Skull then. If he wants to Ice Beam, that's fine. We have enough special defense that it's not gonna do too much. Get burn, get burn. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice. We could get rid of a speed boost, but it doesn't really matter. He already outspeeds my entire team. A jump kick, not going to do too much. And this should not take him out with the burn. Go bane for bunker. I know I hate people doing this to me, but... Doesn't actually take him out. I should have realized. Let's go Toxic Spikes. We should have went two layers of Toxic Spikes realistically. That does no damage at all. Yeah, we should have went two layers of Toxic Spikes because getting one Toxic Spike up isn't great. Two is optimal. Slowbro's gonna come out. We can't really do anything to Slowbro. So let's go out into Tangrowth. Which can do something to Slowbro. You can go for Leech Seeds on it, especially if it's a Mega Slowbro. Without a reliable recovery source. Doesn't get a burn, thankfully. And let's go for the Leech Seed here. We'll go Leech Seed and then we'll just Giga Drain it to death. The basic premise here. 
and that and the poison are just going to whittle it away. Giga Drain takes him down to 2% and he's going to get an all scald off. Which doesn't really matter because we are a special attacker mainly. And what's his last Pokemon going to be? We have a full health tox effects. And the Thunderous does well against everything. Let's go Sleep Powder. Thunderous doesn't really get a good special move. A good special flying type move. That almost kills. And we're going to miss the Sleep Powder. Well, I would have... If I had known I was going to miss Sleep Powder, I would have went Leech Seed. Let's go Leech Seed. Well, let's go Sleep Powder again. Okay. Let's go Ice Beam. Miss your Focus Blast. Miss your Focus Blast. Miss your Focus Blast. I Thunderbolt, that's fine. This is a 2 hit KO. Let's end it with a ban. Miss your Focus Blast. Miss your Focus Blast. Goes Thunderbolt and boom! Down goes the Thunderous and we are going to pick up our third win of the day guys. Three wins today it means we are now on 706 wins, 313 defeats, a 393 game differential. I hope you've enjoyed this rage filled episode. I certainly haven't enjoyed recording it. It's took... Uh, I've had to have like five minute sit down sessions after the first two matches to just calm down calm down so it's took like almost 45 minutes to record as opposed to the normal 20. so yeah that's going to be the end of today's episode guys if you've enjoyed my rage make sure to drop a like hit subscribe as well and from me corvus thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye